What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to have a discussion into 2020 and beyond. So sit back, relax, free your mind, grab a beverage of your liking, and let's get into it. Today's choice is a wild IPA India Pale Ale with an ABV of 6.9, Lucky Scars, and it's a very hoppy and punchy ale with a very frothy head. But dude, where is our 2020 at? What are the flying cars? We don't have any flying cars yet, but we do have some flying people in Dubai. watch but um i just don't see that happening anytime soon so where's the virtual ui that we've been seeing in movies for decades you know something similar to what tom cruise used in minority Slow report fish. time frame 13 minutes hey chief investigator from the feds here yeah i don't need some twink from the fed poking around right now john i wrote it down in your calendar i left you a message in your house. uh you know the infamous tony stark and avengers <laughs> that user in the face You know, something of that nature. I don't have it that I know of, but we do have VR and the ability to aimlessly kick and punch ourselves into submission. I mean, seriously, bro, Michael Jackson had more tech in the 80s than VR today. <laughs> And what is the holographic windows? Are those a thing yet? I mean, seriously, you know, the ones that change the scenery. Uh, mine probably be stuck on the Himalayas, you know. Those mountain goats are badass, in my opinion. Um, sheep herders. You say sheep herders? Yeah, the sheep herders. I mean, seriously, don't hate on the sheep herders. They produce this gem of a coat. Just take a look at this gem. Looks musky on it. <laughs> Perfect set with the Elon Musk. I think that guy is our only hope going forward. Just look at Tesla, man. The first full electric. Um, we're not talking about the hybrid Priuses or nothing like that. Full electric with autonomous driving. And I think he was saying that um, by 2025 that the whole fleet will be full autonomous driving. And the possibilities are endless with it. Uh, you can actually send the car home until you get off of work and it comes back kind of like his new um update on the tesla vehicles that i think it's called the summons say if you was at the gym and you came out you can summon your car but that's from the parking lot to you know the actual uh gym that's probably not too far but i think he even so ambitious of it to make the car actually act like a uber driver no one in it um it just picks up a random person takes them drop them off and you're actually making money while you're at work so that's crazy and i actually like the concept of that and just off the top of my head he has his hands and um tesla we all know you know most of you probably know the model x the model s pd 100d um and the newer model 3 which is like mass produced not that those cars were mass produced but the model 3 is more and somewhat affordable to the masses and that really caught the attention of the big three automakers i mean ford gm and dodge and uh, other big companies like porsche um, audi other big companies like that you can see the trend 
it's moving more electric and their vehicles. Some are still hybrids. Um, it still has an internal combustion engine, but um, you can see that they probably gonna be moving forward to full electric like Tesla is now. And he also has his hands in other initiatives like Starlink, which uh, launches satellites into orbit um, to provide internet services to like the most dire place on the world in the world that doesn't have connectability. Um, I think it's more purpose to those type of countries, and that's a feat in itself. And he also has the Boring Company. Um, crazy name boring company but it's actually um a concept of his that he's trying to make an underground highway and um, the boring company bores tunnels so just take a quick look at this concept video insane to think about it on a wide scale like countrywide I don't see that happening for a hundred two hundred years maybe but it's interesting to watch um, you know some people always have concepts but this guy actually works towards what his concepts are so you can't knock him on that what else does he have a uh, SpaceX you know that's the rockets that launch into space an actual fuselage returns back to earth it lands at a predetermined spot. Oh, that's crazy. To me, his SpaceX program rivals NASA almost. And I think they're sending people to Mars in mid 2020s. Uh, I think it's 2026. I might be wrong. I think he's actually sending a habitat system where the astronauts will live ahead of time and landing all that stuff on Mars and returning the rockets back to Earth. If he achieves that and get people on Mars, that would be astronomical. I'm taking a quick look at this video of the rocket returning back from space. It's actually the fuselage and landing on a ship in the middle of the ocean. Currently going, unfortunately we don't have the video from the vehicle, but we do have the drone Stage one landing deploy. Stage two is in terminal guidance. And yes, awesome. That's the third landing of this booster. Second time landing on, of course, I Still Love You. Chopper man was landed. Operators, please proceed. Very cool. And any second now, we should be seeing Seco 1. That is where that second stage engine will cut off. And up to that point, I think they made 49 straight successful returns. And with the 50th return, I think it was a failure. I think it was off to the right into the ocean. Um, so. Impact shut down. But yeah, I just want to make this video discussing the possibilities of technology in 2020 and beyond. I mean, if you think about it, technology-wise, first you think transportation, your vehicles. Am I thinking and getting into Elon Musk as he has the fully electric autonomous driving vehicle? He really changed the game with that. What else is next is personal use like cell phones, um, TV. And with cell phones, 
have we reached our limit with them? Um, you have FaceTime now, but what else can you build upon? You have all these apps on it, so that's integrated into the phone. What else can you have? Some kind of polymer coated phone that folds, um, holographic user interfaces that we talked about earlier. I just don't see what else can uh, come out of personal cell phones. I have the Apple Watches, um, but that's same as the phone. It's just, you know, a watch. So what else is that to look forward to personalized wise? Um, maybe eyeglasses with like the user interface and the data and biometrics type things in it. Um, just know what else can be done with and with TVs, the same. The most you can do with them is to make them thin. Maybe, you know, have a polymer type TV that bends and folds. I know over the past decade, most we got was thinner TVs, wider TVs, and internet connectivity and apps on the TV. Um, maybe FaceTime on the TV. But as far as revolutionizing the TV, I don't know what can be done to it. So feel free to drop comments on what you think might revolutionize 2020 and beyond and going forward. Um, what do you see coming that might be a technological leap for? Um, just drop the comments down what you would like to see or what you don't see coming. Um, so dude, where's my 2020? Guess we'll have to wait nine more years for them to prove us wrong. As always, I appreciate y'all coming through for the review. Hit that like, subscribe, share if you will. Till the next time, make your day. Obey.